I'm not, despite my best effort sometimes. So this video caught my eye because the uh, the officer in this video, who is a sergeant, so he's got some he's got some miles on him, was criminally charged after this uh, after this arrest. So I kind of wanted to look at it and see, you know, is this something he should have been charged for, or is this bullshit? Let's find out. What about you? No, nobody cares what you're saying. No, okay, right. nobody cares what you do either. Not really. You understand that? Yeah, I'm not, you, I'm not, the, one, I'm not no, the one out here complaining. I, I know, that was the say. Nobody cares what you do anymore. I know, nobody's nobody out here complaining. Nobody cares what you do anymore, you understand that? Lean back. You know, nobody cares what you do anymore. Lean back. How the fuck am I going to lean back with the fucking you hold my well, belt? Lick. Right? We're not going to do this, right? We're not going to do this, right? Stop. We're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. Are we done now? Go yeah. over. You're done. I can't. Go over. I can't. You're done. There you go. You're done. There you go. There you You're go. Done. Leave brutality. Just leave him up. Yo, man. So, according to the report, the sergeant said that he accidentally stepped on the man's face while he was trying to step on his shoulder. Now, <laughs> hold up. Okay, up until this point, it's fine, right? The guy's being, although it may not outwardly appear that he's being combative or resistant, now he's in handcuffs, but if he's still pressing forward and he's still a problem, then I don't see anything wrong with putting them on the ground, right? To assist them to the ground. I'm not saying you spill them all over the place, but in order to gain control, right, we put them on the ground. We don't, we don't cause positional asphyxia. We don't do dumb shit. We put them on the ground. Hey, we good? We good. Great. Let's go get in the patrol car. Three, four, five cops, I can put a man on the moon. I've said that before. There's no reason in the world you can't get this guy into a patrol car. I'm not saying you have to be sweet, right? But use your common sense. We're not going to do this, right? Why? Well, we know why. He was irritated. We're human, right? He let his emotions, and I'm speculating here, he let his emotions override his common sense. It happens. We've all been pissed off on calls. We've all been pissed off dealing with people. We've all let people get under our skin. I'm not saying you can't let them do that. I'm saying you shouldn't let them do that. But again, we're human beings. And we've all been on that call with that asshole or with that... That dude that won't stop running his mouth, or the, the girl that won't stop running her mouth, or the one that is giving you the finger, you know, poking at you, trying to get a, trying to elicit a response, and you can't give it to him because this is what happens, you know? Especially on, you get out on a hot call, or you get on a call where you've had to fight, and you finally get this person into, into custody, and you've got that, oh, you've got that adrenaline just flowing through your veins, man. And all it takes is one more fucking thing to set you off. That can't be the result. That can't be. Because I'm going to go ahead and say that this guy's going to lose his job. I'm going to say that he's probably going to wind up going to trial. Maybe he works out a deal, maybe he doesn't. And the city's going to wind up paying this dude a bunch of money. Because Sarge let this guy get under his skin. And, and that's just not a way to end your fucking career. It's not. I'll tell you, 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 
you can't, and I'll, I'll reiterate this, you can't let your emotions override your common sense. You just can't do it. Find a way at the end of that call, at the end of that situation, to let that adrenaline drain. And I'll tell you guys a secret, man. One of the things I used to do, especially when I, I'm a, hot-headed's not the word. Let's just say I'm, I'm an emotional person sometimes, right? And I, I get done, get somebody in custody, get done with one of these calls, and, and it's just the, you feel like you're going 100,000 miles an hour. And I, I take my mag light out and turn around it, and I just tap it on my forehead. I just just tap my forehead. Not, not hard, hard enough for it to where I could feel it. But I would do that until that, that energy kind of subsided. Right? All right. 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Let's get back down to earth. Let this, you know, let's get this person into the back of the car. Let's get them down to the detention center. And, and I'm not saying that's the right thing to do. I'm just saying that's what I did because it got me back down to some zen, right? But, but this. We're Stop. done. You're done. You're done. Go over. I can't. You're done. There you go. You're done. There you go. There you You're go. Done. Up. There you go. You go. You go. You go. I mean, what do you do? How do you defend that? How do you defend that? Perception is the cruelest form of reality, kids. So, tell me what you think. Drop your comments in the comments section down below. Leave me a thumbs up or a thumbs down or a middle finger. I wish I wish YouTube and other social media platforms included like a middle finger fucking button. Um, just for fun. Anyway, give me something, you know, for the algorithm. You guys be good or be good at it. We'll see you next time. Be safe.